Hey everyone, today's video is about when you get Hanaki disease. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Midori Izuku. It all started when you and his friends were walking in a flower garden. You coughed up a piddle and you thought it was strange about how a piddle could have ended in your mouth. It kept happening and happening, and you ended up finding the disease. He asked you about it, and he just shrugged. He went to ask Midoriya, and he found him kissing. A random classmate. He turned out and told you what happened. He started crying and had to get the surgeon to get it out. Sad life. Bago Katsuki. He had fallen head over heels in love with Bago. What he didn't know was that he hated the passion. He showed up to school one day with a mask and started crying when he saw him. What the hell is wrong with you? He asked. You told him how you felt, and he just left you off. You ended up dying, but you left for him. This is even more sadder. I mean, sadder. You and Neo thought Erky was dating Mama, and you didn't like how both of you were such good friends. Well, you didn't show up for a few days, and when you did, you were wearing a mask like Shoji's. When he told Taraki you liked him, he just walked away from you. He started weeping, and your family decided for you to get the surgery. This is even sadder. Ira Tenya. His family wanted him to marry another pro his daughter, but he didn't like it. He had fallen for him when he said that. It got worse, and he started crying. It hurt so much. He told him how you felt, and he said that he felt the same. The coughing went down and the piddle stopped. Now this one is happy. As hell. Dinky Kaminari. You and Dinky were dating and had a really good relationship until you woke up coughing blood. You didn't pay any attention to that since it could have been mocked us. Well, you walked in one day and everyone just gave you a stare off. Oh shit. They all asked if you were feeling right and Dinky walked in holding your hand. The Beatles made so much sense now. Cheater. I hope you're happy, but... Uh, wait, wait, wait. I hope you're happy, but don't be happier, yeah. Yeah. Show Jimmy's out. He didn't talk much, and you kind of thought he was really mysterious. You got pretty bad feelings, and you just coughed up Beatles one day. He told him how you felt, and he knew how you felt since he had out before with you as well. I better go. He left the back and the pain stopped. Now this one is happy too. As hell though. Sarah Hunter. He came to class one day feeling a bit unwell, but he didn't think anything of it. He then started coughing and coughing up a few pedals. Isaiah looked at you and started sighing. Man, who's your crush? He asked. You hesitantly pointed to Sarah. Well, do you feel the same? Sarah shook his head. And I thought, paid for your surgery. Now, just imagine someone or a teacher telling, I mean, asking you, who is your crush? And this, it's just weird. Just right, right in front of the class and you're just pointing at the, at the person you have a crush on. And it's just weird. I, I, I wish, if it was me, I would have wished I would die back then. Hiroshima Ichiro. He noticed the blood dripping from your mouth one day. And as if you were all right. He lied and then nodded. Yes, I am. I love you, Kiri. He told him. He walked away and left you to cry. He died since you just wanted him to love you. To tell you something, Kiri wouldn't ever do that, even if he doesn't love you back, even if he would disrespect you, even if he hates the, sh the shit out of you. I just think he, he thinks that it's manly to stay with you. And he actually, he's very, he's very nice. Dabby. You knew he would do anything for you. And when he coughed up Peter's one day, you just told him how you felt. He kissed you and held you close. He made sure it would never happen again. A very nice boy. That's my husband. I saw a shot Baka noticed something wrong with you, and it started when you were teaching the math. 
The pain got so bad, we started crying. He walked in and saw I got on the phone with someone. He knew it wasn't you since you were teaching, but how he said, I love you, babe. That tip, I go over. Bitch, go get your actual girlfriend. He yelled. I know I just broke up with you, and you got the surgery since you didn't want to have feelings for him. Tawaki. When he moved away, he felt sick all the time and started coughing badly. You couldn't tell him how you felt, but your mom made you get the surgery. He told you how he felt one day, and you just lost all feelings due to the surgery. He just walked away while you felt that. I feel bad. I feel bad for him. He doesn't deserve this. Now, if you could have just been more brave and told him about your feelings, both of you would have been good, would have been cool, I guess. But you had to be stupid. You stupid idiot, bitch. Sorry. Sorry, not you. It's just who I am, you know? Not you. Especially. Um, what do I do? I'm very... I'm so, I'm so, I'm so tired. I've been awake since like, uh, uh, um, what is it called? I swear to God. Oh yeah, six. Six. I've been awake since six. And I'm very sleepy. Very sleepy. I just feel like crying. But I was thinking about doing this live on uh, 30 or 31. Um, but yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to do this live and I'm going to do a face reveal in it, but I'm not, I'm not pretty sure, but I just want to, I'm not pretty sure if I'm going to do that on that day or not. Since actually I have, um, exams like in a few weeks and stuff. So it's kind of hard for me to do this. I feel like crying. <laughs> I mean, not, not recording. I'm just alive because it will take about a few hours or two two hours to one hour something like that and I just keep I love this so much because but first off just so you don't expect anything I'm gonna wear a mask and I'm hijabi too so I'm not gonna reveal my hair definitely and um I'm gonna wear a mask since I don't like anyone looking at my face it's not because of you it's um, I'm insecure about my face and I don't like my face very much so I'm, I'm just thinking that maybe I should just wear a mask because I look ugly. <laughs> I look ugly. You know? You know ugly? Just the definition of me. It's a perfect word. It fits me. Yeah. But thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.